chest, like I said last week. Uh, we are also doing applications of percents, and today I chose to focus just on taxes, just because there are a few different things that you need to know about this. Um, I'm not going to ask the hard questions about what is the percent tax. Um, I'm just having you guys apply it today. Uh, and looking here, the most typical places you see taxes are when you buy things from the store and when you go to restaurants, because not only is there tax, it is uh, expected that you also tip your server. Very few restaurants actually pay their servers um, a full minimum wage that they have to make up with tips. So tips kind of fall under the same category as tax. Uh, and we're going to just jump right into it and solve for how much you're going to pay on a meal. So if we're talking about food, we would say the, the original meal costed $22. Then we have to pay tax on it, and then we have to pay tip on it. So the way this is going to work is that the total cost is going to be the cost of the food plus the sales tax plus the tip. Now, generally, as a rule of thumb, you don't uh, you don't put tip on the food with the sales tax. Uh, so whenever you get a bill, you'll see that there is the cost of the meal and then the cost after tax, and then they'll say, what are you going to tip? Um, we're going to find all of these things separately. So if we're talking about like going to a store and buying a TV, it would be the price of the TV, then the sales tax, and usually no tip involved there. So food is $22 plus sales tax. We're going to multiply the food or whatever this original amount was times this as a decimal. So it's going to be 22 times 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06 plus tip. Again, we're taking the original cost and adding a 15% tip from it. 22 times 15% as a decimal is 0.15. And then off to the side, I have a calculator. So I have 22 plus um, 0 0.06 times 22 is $1.32 plus 22 times 0.15 is $3.30. And we're going to add all this up and I get $26.62. And keep in mind, sometimes when we do these decimal multiplications, we're going to end up with other numbers after the decimal point, but we really only care about the hundredths and rounding to the hundredths. Looking to the next one. Try this one on your own. I'm going to solve it in a second. So we do food, 45, plus the tax on the food, 0 0.09 times 45, plus 20% tip, so 0.2 times 45, and I get 45 plus 0 0.09 is 4.05. Four dollars and five cents plus 0.2 times 45. If you ever want to learn this trick to do percents easily in your head, if 45 is my original, well, 10% of 45 is just move the decimal point one place to the left, would be four dollars and fifty cents, and 20% would just be to double that because 20% is 10 double 10%. 10 so nine. This is very t helpful when you go to a restaurant and you just want to quit and do a quick uh, tip in your head. So if we add all this together, we get $58.05. This is the total cost of the meal. Now let's look at this example. Sorry about that. At Best Buy, they have a 42 inch TV that sells for $12.50. It is on sale for 50% off, not 15% of this and a sales tax of 6.5. What is the final cost? So we always take the discount first, and then we do the tax. We don't do the tax first and then take the 15% off, because um, we pay tax on what we actually buy. So first, I have to take 15% off. So if you remember from the last lesson, I need to do my original times 
be 100% minus 15%. So I get 1250 times 0.85. And I get that to be 1062 and 50 cents. 1062.50. Well, now I need to take tax on this. So I'm going to do my original plus, so original plus original times tax. Notice how we're still turning our decimals into, per, uh, our percents into decimals. So the original, again, now is the 1062.50. You can think of tax as kind of like a markup, so you could use the same type of uh, setup. And the tax is 6.5%, so decimal point to the left, 1, 2, point zero six five and that comes out to be sixty nine dollars and six cents and if I add this all together these two pieces I get one thousand one hundred and thirty one dollars and fifty six cents that is the cost after we take our discount and then add the tax onto it all right last piece and this is one that will come up in life as you go if you go out to eat with three friends and your meal was $72.50, that means the meal for all of you, there was a 6.75% sales tax and you should tip the waiter 15% at least. Um, so you go out with three friends. So total, there are four people. The total meal was this. So we can think of this as original or food and we have sales tax and tip, and it says, what does each person pay? So this just adds one more step of at the end. So we take our 72.50 plus the tax times this, 0 0.0675 times 72.50 plus um, 0.15 times 72.50, and we get I plug these into a calculator, I get 4.89 plus 10.88 and 72.50, nothing changes. And add all this up and I get the total bill to be $88.27. Um, this is for all four of you. So if I want to figure out what one person pays, I need to divide this by four to get one person. All right, so if I plug that into a calculator, I can get that everyone pays $22.07. And you'll notice that if you actually multiply this, uh, you get that you pay 88 and uh, 28 cents. But that's because when we have these, these extending decimals and we round, we wanna make sure that we're paying the whole thing and not shorting somebody. Um, so on the homework, I'm gonna fold in discount problems tax problems, uh, and a combination of the two. Um, I will be having office hours this week or Zoom classes for people that are struggling with this, and I'll post those on Google Classroom.